Today we're in Jeremiah chapter 3. So far in this prophetic book, Jeremiah has been the voice of the Lord, speaking words of judgment against Israel and Judah. And as you'll see, chapter 3 is no exception. Here, Israel's faithlessness is addressed in very strong terms. Their behavior is compared to prostitution. It's a shameful comparison, one that would have clearly communicated God's disappointment and disgust with his own special people. In verse 1, the Lord tells Israel, You have prostituted yourself with many lovers, so why are you trying to come back to me? God calls out Israel for their hilltop shrines to other gods, for polluting the land with immoral and wicked behavior. For you are a brazen prostitute, God says, completely shameless. See, on one hand, Israel asks God not to be angry, to forget about their sinfulness. But on the other hand, they continue doing all the evil they can. And the kingdom of Judah? They followed their example. In verse 6, the Lord said, Have you seen what fickle Israel has done? Like a wife who commits adultery, Israel has worshipped other gods on every hill and under every green tree. And her faithless sister saw this. Then referring to Judah, God said, She too has left me and given herself to prostitution. And you may be asking, Joe, where's the hope? Where's the healing? Where's the restoration? Where is God's mercy pertaining to Israel and Judah? Well, it's found in verse 22, where the Lord says, My wayward children, come back to me, and I will heal your wayward hearts. And here's what I hope you'll take away with you from Jeremiah chapter 3 today. The Lord is always waiting to heal our wayward hearts. He is. You may be in a place today you never imagined you'd be. You've conformed to the behaviors and customs of the world and removed yourself from underneath God's care and covering. On Sunday mornings right now at Coastline, we're exploring how we counter our present culture through our verse-by-verse -verse study through the book of Daniel. Let me encourage you, come join us Take a step of faith toward the Lord this week and experience His grace as He begins healing your wayward heart.